Alright, today we're going to be removing the Rogue Antivirus Studio 2010. Now, a few things you're going to notice if you have this. Number one, it is really annoying. You're going to get a lot of pop-ups like this that might scare you into buying this, so you got to resist it. You might notice that your internet is blocked and that uh, you get error messages for um, some executables. Sometimes you get an alert saying that a program is infected and can't run. So, Let's go ahead and remove this. First thing we're going to need to do is stop this Antivirus Studio 2010 process. So you're going to have to click around things. Close it. Cancel. Yes. Okay, now you're at the desktop. Keep getting stuff like this. Just cancel. New virus found. Next thing you're going to want to do is mute your speakers. New virus found. Because that voice is going to get really New annoying really found. fast. So cancel and yes is the usual um, New virus found. procedure. So New You're going to want to go ahead and try to run task manager New virus found. and hope that it doesn't give you any problems. New virus it didn't found. give me any problems this time. If it does, you do New the cancel found. OK thing, and then you will be able to run New task manager found. the next time. So go to processes, New virus found. and you're going to want to kill the following processes. New virus antivirus found. Studio 2010.exe. Just New keep closing found. things. All right, antivirus Studio 2010.exe. New virus found. Whoa. Alright, now you want to kill load.exe and you want to kill securitycenter.exe. And now we should be able to browse the internet. If I get my mouse back. Okay. So go ahead and open up your uh, web browser. And just to make sure that this thing is killed, we're going to go ahead and download Rkill. And Rkill is the very useful utility for killing processes that are going to get in our way when we try to remove this rogue. So, I'll have a link in the description. I'll just get it the long way. Alright, so go ahead and save the rkill file to your desktop and run it. And, yeah, this will go ahead and um, reset your desktop, or it'll close and then bring it back up. Get this command prompt window, it'll be there for about 30 seconds, you'll get a log showing the processes that it killed. And, yeah, now we can uh, remove this thing properly. And I will have a direct link in the description for um, the next uh, program, which is Malwarebytes, but I want to see if this works again. Alright, I'll, I'll try to get a uh, direct link to Malwarebytes in the description. So, go ahead and download it. Save it to the uh, desktop. Close, close, close. Now go ahead and run the setup file. Click Run. Select your language, and go through the setup. Accept the agreement. Make sure update and launch are checked and click finish. It's going to go ahead and do an update. Alright, uh, if you're a previous user of Malwarebytes, go ahead and go to the update tab and click check for updates just to make sure you're on the latest database version. Now, back to the scanner, quick scan, and scan. It's going to take about anywhere between 5 to 15 minutes, so go ahead and take a break while you're waiting. Alright, so my scan just completed. It took a little bit over three minutes, so that was pretty fast. Go ahead and go to Show Results. We'll show all of the uh, infections that it found. Make sure they're all checked and click Remove Selected. We'll go ahead and quarantine everything and then delete it. Get a log. You can go ahead and close it. It'll ask you to reboot. Click Yes. And now, uh, let it reboot. 